everybody, welcome to the Three Way Podcast Show. This is JP, Linkster 101. That is Lowe's, Public Enemy 59. And that is Elias, JRX4. Wow. Uh, the man behind all the magic. So we'll knock that out very quick. So you already know our links to our bios. They're at the bottom. Please like and subscribe and ring that bell. So let's just get into it right now. Uh, I want to go ahead and begin with gaming. Pew, 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 pew. Well, wait, was I supposed Yeah, game over. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so the big news for gaming this week, which pumps me up, I'm super excited about. I've been clamoring for this. Uh, so there is a rumor that EA is going to make a remake of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, the first one. Now, as everyone knows, um, you guys can find this on Xbox uh, uh, Pass, Live Pass, um, and it should be there. Uh, this is one of my favorite games of all time. It's one of the ones that was rated 10 out of 10. Um, one of the best, I would say, MMOs. Cre- well, it's, it's not really an MMO, is it? Because there was a story. Uh, I guess it, was, it would be the Mass Effect before the Mass Effect, I would say. It's like RPG. RPG, well, because you, you can make decisions and everything that you do is based on those decisions. Uh, the mechanics were very well thought out. And for their time, you know, it was really, really good. So there's a rumor going around. It's, it hasn't been confirmed, confirmed. But usually when something like this leaks. Well, uh, the the publication that leaked it, um, they leaked the Obi-Wan uh, TV show, which is Which confirmed. we know, yeah. confirmed, yes. So, They've had credible uh, reports, and they say they have two. They have two different sources that told them that. So, it looks like it's happening. And I, it wouldn't surprise me, especially with all these remakes, such as Resident Evil, Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I'm pumped up for it. That's one of my favorite games Bro, of all time. One of the best games. Of one all of the time. best games of all time. Um, um, hands down, I could play that all day, every day. So for them to be remaking it, hopefully for the next gen consoles. Um, EA, who you know. Uh, That's my issue. EA. Is because uh, I believe the first one, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Elias. E, the first one was created by Bioware, wasn't it? Sure. Yes. I don't know. I never played those games. Yeah, <laughs> you're <laughs> such a liar. I've seen you play it. I've never played those games. You never played Knights of the. Yeah, you gotta play Knights of the Republic. Boring. This shit is badass. Um, but yeah, so I, I, be, I believe I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but uh, no, but uh, yeah, man, I'm excited. Uh, I hope it's true. I hope it's for the next gen consoles. I hope it. It looks super good. I hope it plays good. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for it, too. So, uh, bad news for you guys that uh, know about Final Fantasy VII, the remake. It is being pushed back. But due to the fact that it's being pushed back, I think Square Enix made a whole-ass move. So, essentially, if you uh, ordered your, your, I guess, pre-ordered the game... um, It doesn't count. You have to go back and reconfirm. Well, that's if you did it through... Uh, their website. So if you, you did it specifically through Square Enix, uh, you have to go ahead and reconfirm your order. Otherwise, they'll cancel it. And that's a whole ass move. I feel like gamers shouldn't have to suffer just because you decide to push the game back. Uh, I understand pushing the game back to make it better. I get all that. Uh, it's one of the best games of all time, and you're remaking it. You want to make sure everything's right, but you shouldn't have to hold as gamers like that because that basically allows other gamers. It must to be dig- some glitch. Like it, it, it has to be some like glitch or something that Square Enix fucked up. It's funny. I think it's dumb. Uh, I think it's dumb too because you think we're being a better place now uh, uh, electronically for them to figure out a way to just keep the orders. Get an Excel sheet, motherfuckers. <laughs> Excel, write, it, write, it down. write it down. Get an Excel sheet and post that shit. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have ordered uh, Final Fantasy VII through Square Enix, uh, please reconfirm that. If not, it gives me a chance to get the best possible deluxe version that I've been looking for that's been sold out. Seriously? Yeah, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like two hundred. I think it's two hundred fifty. Correct me if I'm wrong. Two hundred fifty, something like we that. Won't correct you. Yeah, you just say you're wrong. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's, it's a lot of money. All right. Um, so not only that, we also received this week leaked Xbox Series X prototype pictures. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the back, the we back. Got to see the back, the Vince, the, console. the Vince. So the we were discussing this the before ports. Uh, the ports. Yeah. Uh, we were discussing this before the show. So essentially it looks like they're going all in in gaming. They're not going to have that, that cable Boo. package that is included. Boo. Let me watch TV on my Xbox. I man. think Come that on. everyone now, it's, everything's in streaming. Who knows? Maybe they might just have it in a streaming format instead of just having it connected to your cable box. Boo. Uh, I'm not really surprised by it. It looks, to me, it looks good. Uh, 
I'm even considering, and hopefully they'll have this option open where you don't have they don't have that disc. It's just downloadable through the internet. I mean, nowadays internet is so accessible. I think that would no, be the after they're they're gonna have the the first uh, console the the one coming out this year. It's gonna have a disc drive, so you're you're gonna be able to put a CD in there and play your game. But I imagine once they do come out with it, because it's a series, and that's the Series X, I imagine there's going to be a Series S, right, down the road. XS, like, like an iPhone? <laughs> a cheaper version that uh, that won't have the, uh, you know, the CD thing, and it'll just be full downloadable, and you'll be paying $100 less for it, and it might be a little less powerful, shit like that. Um, yeah, but I mean, even that's with this, not one thing that I don't like. That's a Xbox Series series. I don't like that. I, I, you know, it's Xbox know. and Xbox 360, then Xbox One, like Xbox One X. Like I, I, this whole series thing is getting on my nerves. But that's uh, what it is, man. I mean, hopefully they they come up because even now with with all the information I'm getting from Xbox that it could be like a PC moving forward. Like, why even get the day one? Parts. Yeah, you know, the day one. If I can just, <laughs> get I wouldn't be surprised if Xbox goes that route where you could just very easily open up their console and install a new graphics card or a new whatever, and to make it run yeah. better, and they'll just keep coming out with those throughout time. I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's just weird to me, but we'll see how it comes out. I I, I believe it's scheduled for uh, the holidays uh, this year of uh, the at the end of this year, so maybe like November, December. So we'll find out. More than likely, November. Are you buying always, it day one? I'm buying it day one. I don't want to because Eli, I feel like, are you buying it day one? Oh yeah. All right. So are you gonna buy PS Five? Yes. Day, day one. Day one. The Xbox that way. Yeah, because I'm already scared. I'm already putting money aside for like like a thousand two hundred, thousand three hundred. Same here. Because yeah. you gotta buy the games, controllers. All that bullshit. <laughs> and uh, so I heard that you wanted to call uh, talk about Tim Tim. Uh, <laughs> Tim Tim is a new Pokemon inspired game out on PC. Looks like it has better uh, graphics too. Sure. Uh, but yeah, it's caused a bit of controversy. All the people that hated Pokemon are backing Tim Tim because they think Pokemon should have been like Tim Tim, and all the Pokemon lovers are hating on Tim Tim because they think. Tim Tim and just stole everything from Pokemon, which they did. So, yeah, I'm just kind of like, well, I don't care. Yeah, man. I can't play it. I, I feel like Tim Tim has better graphics, so it's already winning. There uh, you go. Yeah, it took how many years Pokemon to get to the type of graphics they have now? Uh, 36. I don't uh, know. Damn. It's been a long time. Uh, <laughs> I, don't I don't know if that's accurate. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> It came out when I was like 11 or 12, so it's been about 20 years. 20 Get it years. here first, folks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that does it for gaming uh, for this week. Pew, Next pew. thing we're going to do is hop into sports. <sighs> Touchdown. It's a home run. Goal. <laughs> Astros cheated. Sports. Um, so let's go ahead and begin with that. That's something that we didn't add, but I saw it over the weekend. Luke Keekley. Uh, no, not Luke Kuechly, 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 whatever his name Who's is. Who's now with the Atlanta Braves. Yes, the pitcher for the Houston Astros came out and apologized for cheating. And he said that... He said everyone was doing it. He said everyone was doing it. No, he didn't say everyone That's was doing it. He said Astros were doing it. He, he didn't say everyone was doing it. That was the state of the league at that time, is what his words. Well, if you actually read the report. And not the for minute, well, he's a cheater. So he admitted he's a cheating, so Astros are cheaters. Everyone was doing it. So apparently uh, he was like, hey, Astros... All you fans and all you players come out and apologize for cheating. And Everyone so was doing it. <laughs> and so it's been rectified that they did cheat. And because everybody was cheating. I guess everybody was cheating. I don't know, but uh, there is still the talk of they kind of confirmed that they weren't gonna take the rings away. Of course they're not. Um, but they should. They should. But then they again, shouldn't. if they it, they would they would set precedent moving forward. So the NFL. They, they have, have to take the Yankees because them boys were on roids. Barry Bonds because he was on roids. But that so. was the era. Yeah, exactly. yeah, that's your that's your excuse. Well, that was the so, steroids era. Yeah, everyone was doing it. <laughs> All these Astros fans are straight up mad. <laughs> it's hilarious, dude. We it's just ba- it's just baseball. Baseball sucks, man. Still anyway, got the ring. let's mad. go ahead and move forward to the NFL playoffs. Uh, as you guys know, we already know the winners between uh, Kansas City and Tennessee. It wasn't even a competition. Uh, Kansas City pretty much overwhelmed them. It was a a, a good first half. 
Yeah. Uh, Tennessee, Tennessee just, was in there, but then once Mahomes got back on the field after whatever adjustments they mm-hmm. made, he was he lit it up. Mm-hmm. So, um, I mean, that offen- that team looks offensively really good. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess this is our like outlook for the Super Bowl here. Um, well, th- let's go ahead and just and, and just go just inform you guys that Kansas City didn't really face a t- a, a top tier defense. Uh, Tennessee ten- is a solid. Tennessee is a solid. Defense. They're like top in the middle of the pack. But let's be honest: when you go against a ranked thirty one defense in the Houston Texans, you and and they're they're up twenty four and they're just giving you the lead. Uh, that's just pathetic. And then you're seeing Tennessee. Uh, just stop running Derrick Henry for some strange reason. Yeah, what are you doing? I don't know what the hell they were doing. You have the best running back in the league. I, I was it. giving props to that coach. I was like, he's better than Bill O'Brien because we used to have uh, uh, Mike Vrabel in our coaching staff as a defensive head coach. The, the oh, he's Texans. better than Bill O'Brien. But then he just like stopped running the ball. Pretty stupid. And then we have uh, – Yeah, let course, me not give the ball to my best player. <laughs> and then we have Green Bay – uh, versus the 49ers. Let me, the, let me put the game in the hands of Tannehill. Yeah, right? Uh, who's only thrown eight passes like in the playoffs the game before. Um, so we have Green Bay Packers getting just stomped, annihilated, embarrassed uh, by the 49ers. <laughs> when he it got was, drafted, uh, well, how do you feel about San Francisco uh, passing on you? They're, they're going to regret it when, uh, when they see me again. Yeah, right. Well, uh, Aaron Rodgers. Ooh, going home, baby. It's going home. Going home. <laughs> Back to Green Bay. Their offense, Wisconsin. Their offense and defense did not uh, do anything. Do anything. They just didn't show up. He made it, they made it a game in the fourth quarter. They came I mean, they, close, like a two-score. They tried to, like, mount a comeback, but by that time, it was just too much. Yeah. San Francisco's running game is continues to beat everybody up. So now we have basically uh, the 49ers representing the NFC and the Kansas City Chiefs representing the AFC. It's so gonna be good. it's going to be a good game. Uh, I think that the 49ers have the best defense to stop uh, uh, Patrick Mahomes. They have, yeah. And I think they have the offense to the point where they are not going to just get a lead and – just give it up. And they also have a head coach who's running the ball. So I think Richard, at the end of the day... If- I, and I really want to see that matchup of the, those receivers against Richard Sherman. Because Richard's been talking crap. A lot of shit over the Th- this fucking whole playoffs. Twitterverse. Yeah, and you know, he he's backing it up because he's playing really good. I but, mean, he has a Super Bowl. He's been to two Super Bowls. He has a Super Bowl. He has yeah, a Super Bowl and ring. so he's now going up against the best offense, I think, in the league. Um, so we're going to see, I want to see what these battles are going to look like. I well, want to see if Richard well, Sherman's going to get beat or not. Um, well, there's the Andy Reid curse. Andy Reid always sucks in the Super Bowl too. That's um, true. Um, he doesn't know how he, to play He call. does deserve one. Um, he does deserve one. I think that Terrell Owens deserves a ring too. He should have won one with the Yeah, Eagles. Terrell Owens should have won. Um, but, you know, the Patriots came Yeah, out. so I am picking the 49ers to win this You're game. You're picking 49 I I'm want the 49ers. 49ers to win. I, I do. I want Garoppolo to get his ring. I mean, the understudy of Tom Brady for so long. You know, learned all he could from Tom Brady. Obviously, it's showing. It's, it's coming. You can see it now. Uh, so I wanted him to win his first ring. I like the 49ers team. I like the way they play. Uh, but... I feel like Casey's offense. And Casey's the way favored. The the way Mahomes is playing, man. Ah, I feel like damn, man. Once they get out to a lead, I feel like they're not gonna give it up. Yes, their defense is susceptible. It's not that great. I feel like the 49ers are gonna run the ball on them. But I just feel Mahomes, man. He's playing on another level right I'm now. I'm telling you guys right now, if the 49ers get up by 10 points, the Kansas and the Kansas City Chiefs are behind. They will. Kansas City will lose that game. Guarantee. I, I can't. No. See, guarantee and that's it. what I. And think. I guarantee it. Even, I guarantee it because they have not faced a good defense. They've been playing stupid ass, shitty ass teams like the Texans. Defense 49ers haven't came across an of offensive. What are you team talking about? Like, 49ers. What are you talking they about? They haven't come across. They a beat team New like, Orleans. They beat New Orleans and New Orleans. Orleans. No, yeah. They 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 went to Baltimore and they almost beat Baltimore. No, they did beat Baltimore at Baltimore. Uh, so you're wrong and incorrect. So <laughs> please hey, review the season. A second year quarterback. An old ass quarterback. They're now going to go up against the best quarterback in the league. We'll I'm picking see. 49ers. All we'll right. see. So another sad day in the NFL as well. So Tom Brady's daddy is going to retire. Eli Manning is work hard, man. Can, can we get a work hard for Eli yeah. Manning? Work hard. After 16 years, he gave me 
the greatest Super Bowl of all time and well, the greatest it is update one of, the, it of all time. It is one of the greatest Super Bowls. I think it's the best Super Bowl of all time that I've ever seen. Um, it was the greatest upset. Back was, and forth uh, to the fourth quarter. To the fourth quarter. It was, and just, it was a great game. And just defeating the perfect quote-unquote team of uh, the Patriots. So uh, he has two Super Bowls because there was a, a revenge game and Tom Brady lost a revenge game. So Eli Manning will always be known in the NFL as the greatest upset ever in history. He's going to go down with the Giants. Those saying that he doesn't deserve to be in the Hall of Fame, I'm just like, are you crazy? I don't think so. Maybe not first ballot. Maybe third. Or maybe his stats aren't the best stats They're not out the there. the best. And that's under, I get that, but the guy has given us some of the greatest moments in NFL history. Probably the greatest moment with uh, that catch with Tyree. Yeah, come on. Like, that will forever live in infamy. And so you're telling me that Eli Manning doesn't deserve to be in he'll the Hall of Fame? He'll get in there. I don't think he'll get in there right away, but he'll okay, get in there. Okay, maybe not a first-time ballot, and that's understandable. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, there's a lot, some people that are for sure need to get in. You're limited on how many people are in that each year. But at some point, Eli Manning's going to be in the Hall of Fame. And he should be. He yeah. deserves it. He uh, deserves it, man. I, I, I'm very happy for him. Uh, I, I feel like, you know, if, if it wasn't for him, we would be thinking that Tom, Tom Brady, Brady would have eight rings. Eight rings, and he Not stopped six. Tom Brady. <laughs> And Tom Brady was cheating, and he got caught cheating. Right, he and, got six rings. And the Giants were like, you can cheat all you want. We're still going to whoop that ass. That defense was legit. Yeah, uh, Michael Strahan. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I miss seeing uh, Justin the, Tuck, the defense. Yeah. Uh, O.C. Ominora. Man, yeah. it was a squad. Yeah, it was a squad, bro. man. It was hey, a squad. Hey. Shout outs to the Giants, and shout out to Eli Manning. Yeah. Uh, well deserved. Hopefully, he'll get Maybe he'll get in the production booth, and, and maybe... Uh, do, do you really want to hear Eli talking? <laughs> <laughs> Not me, man. Hey, man. Not me. Hey, you never know. Uh, it can't happen. I think you you would have thought really... Tony Romo could be a broadcaster. You never said that. Tony, Tony Romo will be good at anything he does. Except quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so, come on. coaching. To, to close out with that sports, owner, you're never going to uh, win. In the NBA, we had a big major debut by one of the rookies that Zion. everyone, Zion Williamson. Uh, so, Zion Williamson, uh, he came out. It was his first game. It, it had a terrible first three quarters. Terrible. terrible. It was terrible. Ter- terrible. Terrible. I think he scored like six points. But or... I mean, they, they wouldn't even let him get to rhythm. They were like, oh, two or three minutes, come back. Two or three minutes, come back. Oh, one minute, come back. Like, really? they wouldn't let him get to uh, rhythm okay. at all. Yeah, so. So terrible first three quarters, but then in that fourth quarter, he just started scoring. Bro, so I didn't know this guy could score threes like that. I didn't that. know he could score threes like that. Bro, either. what? He's just and he spreads the from, floor from way downtown, just consistently scoring points. So it's not even like mm-hmm. this guy could. I think totally he, surprised me. I think and, he could be the Shaq of power forwards. Uh, he has the body type like a young but Shaq. But Shaq didn't have no range like that. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, Shaq is more of a center uh, in the post. I think yeah, Zion yeah. Williams is more of a power forward in the post. And he has that range from the yeah, outside. With that range, he could hey, be deadly. Man, New Orleans, they're close to getting in the playoffs. Uh, you know, it can happen. It Ooh. can happen, guys. It, I want to see it, There's man. a run. It'd be I crazy. I want to see Zion, It'd be bro. crazy. It's better than watching the Rockets implode. <laughs> <laughs> it's just sad. Yeah, it, it, it is sad. terrible. He, uh, Astros are cheaters. T- uh, cheaters. The 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 Houston Bill O'Briens are trash. And then we got the <laughs> Rockets imploding. It's it's a great day in Houston. Um, so that does it for sports, guys. The next thing we're gonna hop into is pop, pop, pop. Um. All right. So <laughs> yes, we on you. Uh, uh, so guys, <laughs> from what we have reviewed here, Obi Wan. Kenobi, the Jedi Knight from Star Wars. I'm just <laughs> uh, the show, the actual TV show has been Disney Plus show. has been hasn't been really. I can't say it's been delayed because uh, he, uh, the the, the uh, Ewan McGregor confirmed that it's going to come out the day that they said it was. It's just going back for uh, editing well, some scripts. They, they they haven't released a a date on when it was going to be. He just released. said that year. Well. You know, uh, some people were like, oh, crap, what's going on? Like, they they postponed production. Like, mm-hmm. is there a problem? Is someone is something got no, you know, going on? And Ewan McGregor came out and spoke uh, publicly saying that, hey, it's just we're mess- tinkering with the script. Which they should know? do. Like, he he said the script as is is great, but, you know, they're, they're trying to add some other stuff. So we won't be uh, begin production again until January, I think is what he said. Next year. Next I'm, year. Damn, so that's like a long... Well, it's to be expected. Keep in mind that they have to follow up, you know, the Mandalorian. Yeah. 
So if person. you're if you're gonna follow up the Mandalorian, you need a with another show. Yeah. In the same universe, you gotta you gotta come out yeah. guns blazing. And you know, I, I I'm some people I, hate it. They're like, oh crap, uh, it's delayed. We won't get this forever. Da, da, da. I'm glad they did it because I want Disney to be taking care of the Star Wars franchise more because right? they destroyed it. Uh, yes. Uh, so the fact that they've uh, postponed production, they're going to tinker with the script more, I think is, in the end, is just going to be good for the show. And one of my favorite things over the weekend, this has nothing to do, but uh, just seeing uh, George Lucas hold the little baby Yoda and take a picture, I thought that was really cool for him to do that, to be in that set. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that he basically gave his blessing on that show because that show was an amazing show. shout outs to John Fab- Fabro, Fab- yeah. Fabro? John Fabro. Uh, for, for doing that. He was oh. basically like, fuck Disney, I'm going to do a badass show. And, did you see... Uh, and it just came out amazing. Did you see... Uh, uh, they came out with pictures of how they, they re- uh, filmed uh, that show. It's done in a like circular... They built circular LEDs. Mm-hmm. So all that background is like... Fake. It's like yeah, it's, on a screen. It's on a computerized. Yeah, uh, but they. It's so cool because they build a set, and so the actors are more. It's not just a green screen. It's actual LEDs. So and the, you just have the background. Uh, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you have like the sky, you know, the background. So the actor also kind of feels like they're in it. Yeah. It's not just a green screen. You gotta imagine it. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool. I mean, I'm excited for it. Uh, Favreau, and it's like a first of its type technique. And Favreau's. Favreau's, Favreau's been yeah. killing it, man, with Iron Man bringing the Avengers. Shout out to work hard, work hard, making us happy here. Um, so moving forward, also along with Disney, uh, they're going back to making remakes because they can't make nothing good at this point <laughs> in time. Uh, so they're gonna go back and make Bambi and Pinocchio. Uh, Pinocchio's interesting. That's one where I'm like, okay, a live action of Pinocchio. Like, I yeah. wonder how you're gonna do that. Well, keep in mind the actual Pinocchio story is very dark. I wonder if they're gonna go that route. I, and I hope they do because okay, those movies are older than the Lion King, uh, the there Jungle y'all. Book. So I feel okay. Those are kind of cool for remakes. When you did the Lion King remake, I'm like, everybody's seen Lion King. Like, no one's asking for a but remake. But Pinocchio nowadays is very rare. No one's seen, you know, all these kids haven't seen Pinocchio. So that makes more sense as a remake. And Bambi, I'm, though? Bambi, Bambi's older. And I get the remake, but I'm not interested in watching it. I wouldn't interested in I mean, I, I don't think I could watch Bambi. I mean... Why, because of the beginning and the mother dying? No, is that what gets you? It's just boring. I think the only part I like was Thumper, and that was it. Yeah, no, Pinocchio I'm excited for. Pinocchio, eh, we'll see how it goes. Disney's been a bit of a letdown. You can't um, lie, JP, you can't lie. About what? Anything. Oh, I can say My nose don't grow. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, to close these off, guys, uh, we also have information that due to... The Netflix series. Shout out to Netflix for going against every the, the grain and just coming out with The Witcher and actually killing it with The Witcher, I think. That timeline so, sucked, though. So due to this, they've gotten a lot of pushes uh, on sales in regards to gaming and, and books. Yeah, everybody uh, was playing everybody, Witcher. Yeah, again. everybody's playing Witcher again. So, you know, Netflix, you can tell. That, that's how you know Netflix did such a wonderful job. And now they're coming out with an animated Witcher movie called Nightmare of the Wolf. Uh, so, uh, you know, things are coming out for them. Uh, I... I and they have season two coming out in two years, I believe. Correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Henry Ca- Ca- uh, Cavill. Oh, I can never pronounce the name. Henry Cavill. Cavill? Yeah. Cavill? Is it Cavill? Cavill? It's Cavill. It's Cavill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever his name is. Point is, uh, he can look all swole. Oh, and, and he said like he's going to be giving out like pictures, uh, videos. During he's, production. He's a dope ass dude for doing that, man. Oh, like, yeah. He's, he's like, hey, cool. uh, while we're in this process, I'm going to be like, you know, uh, talking to you guys, showing you stuff. So you know, journey, and it's funny because like of this journey, I'm like, okay, like that's supposedly cool. Netflix lost lost like a billion dollars. Well, Netflix loses money every year. But no, but now they're just recuperating it with, and then they oh, have they're just now. No, I mean, dude, they got The Witcher coming, The, the Witcher. Then they have Cowboy Bebop coming out soon. Then they have Stranger Things coming this year, mm. uh, and then they also have all these other movies that are and productions and shows altering carbon. So all of these shows are just coming. So maybe they lost it, but they're gonna gain it right back. And The Witcher was a big part of it to kickstart uh what a great show in my opinion uh, what a fine ass woman um <laughs> what's her name oh what's her name uh her real name not not oh. the actual part what's her real name uh, i forgot both. come on now she's so hot 
<sighs> Whatever. <laughs> right, you know right. what I'm talking about. The, the, witch, go. Yeah, the yeah, witch, yeah, man. Yeah. The witch. Let it go. But yeah. But that'll do it for, for this week, guys. Any uh, final words? Any final, final phone punches? awards? Any final punch out? Guys, watch out for all these German festive people uh, getting y'all sick with the flu and the cold. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's a crazy world. Yeah, out if there. you haven't noticed, Eli's caught something. We're hoping it's not that Chinese virus because yeah, he did go to China for a little bit. Yeah, so for his sweatshops out there. But man. he looks like he's uh he's in it, man. He's in the middle of a hurricane right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but guys, there's a there's a setting on your phone that keeps it from turning off. For the I don't give a fuck. Please turn it on. I don't give a fuck. Uh, for my house. Uh, well, that's it. I guess I'll do it because I have no final warning. I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's it. So, that's it. Well, thanks so much for watching the show, guys. Keep in mind, we're on Anchor, Spotify, uh, iTunes. Uh, uh, always look out for... I, I know he's under the weather right now, for, but look out for Jarek's 4s uh, Twitch stream uh, that he's doing. Also, uh, Los is working on something. Uh, yeah. Where he can, uh, uh, follow me on uh, Public Enemy 59. Anyway. Anywhere. Yeah. Well, we're working on something so we can show you a little bit more on the streaming side. But thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Peace. Peace.